at the moment I've been getting this far just on my own. I really think it's time that I take things up a notch and be with the real sharks. Nice beard. Hi sharks, my name is Chris Tabone. I'm the director of Coda Sail, a travel company that provides cruises on the Dalmatian coastline in Croatia, in Europe. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. For young professionals in the mid 20s to late 30s age range. Now I don't usually like to see sharks in front of me when I'm on my boat. <laughs> However, I am here today to offer you 10% stake for $180,000. Now the idea started way back in 2010 when I was travelling through Europe. I fell into a job as a tour guide with a youth travel brand, which was amazing. And at that point I learned a lot about the travel industry. I had so many passengers on my past tours that have said, Chris, when we come back to Europe, what can we do? We do not want to be going around with our young drunk self and as sure as hell do not want to be going around with our parents. <laughs> and that's when the light bulb went off, that there was nothing in between. So I created tours that were specifically for the young professional age bracket. From word of mouth, I was able to get that first tour on the water and I had um, one tour departure in 2015. And then in 2018, I'm up to nine tour departures. Oh, wow. Uh, the boat can fit 38 passengers and up until this day, every single tour has been full. Now this has led to Coda Sail winning back-to-back -back titles in the Sailing Tour of the Year Award but someone once told me that charisma can only get you so far. So I'm here today to take it to the next level and turn Coda Sail into a global brand for the young professional travel market. Who's ready to get on board? <laughs> yeah. well I like it. Oh, Chris, what a fabulous presentation. Thank you. But just to recap, you're looking for $180,000 for 10%, yes. valuing your business at 1.8 million. Yes. Thank you. I tell you, where charisma doesn't get you, mate, that beard will. That's fantastic. Thank you. I've been working on it for quite a while. Sell, sell, me, sell me one of your sailing tours. How would you do that? So, the sailing tour is a seven day tour. Seven days. We run on the Dalmatian coastline, which is from Split down to Dubrovnik. We provide a bit of class without breaking the bank. <laughs> How much does it cost? So, a seven day tour, the average cost is about 1,900 Australian dollars. So why don't you uh, tell us a bit about the business side of it? Uh, so 2017, I had a turnover of 440,000 with a profit of 230,000. Oh, wow. This year, I will be getting towards 630,000 turnover for $350,000 profit. <laughs> Huge. How do, how, do, how, do you, how do you get a customer? What's it cost to acquire a customer? So this is where I haven't actually spent a lot of money on advertising. I've hardly put any money into Google and hardly put any money into Facebook. So at a 230 grand profit, you'd keep 200. Is that fair oh, characterisation? 227. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the person who does the nine tours? Yes, at the moment, but I want to take a step back and I want to learn to be more of a businessman rather than a fun tour guide. So how many months do you work? How many weeks do you work? I don't do very much work. <laughs> <laughs> in Croatia, I'm there for the summer. So for instance, um, for the nine weeks, I will go for 10 weeks. You've got a bloody good job. I have a pretty good job. I really enjoy <laughs> what I do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so it's a pretty lazy business, Chris. Yeah. Um, um, and so, so it, 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 let's say someone invested, right? We, we're not going to invest to keep you lazy. I mean, this, is, this, will, this will turn from a vacation company into a real company. So that's that, a big thing you've got to consider, right? Yeah. You, you, may, you may not have as much time off and you actually have other people to answer to. So I hope you're ready for that. Why do you want investment? You, you're taking home. Yeah, big money. Yeah. yeah, you're doing well. This is for me now easy. I, I could have just taken that back seat but I like to grow internationally. I'm, I'm here because you guys are the experts. Are you ready for the blowtorch? Are you ready to work hard? I'm definitely ready to work hard. It's never been a question of my work ethic. I just can't sit still. I mean, I think you've done something obviously very clever about connecting with millennials, and that is a very specialised market, so well done on that. He's nailed something, he's nailed something with his crowd. He's got a very low-cost business because it's just him but the opportunity will scale up and we'll get better. All right, mate, I'm in. We're going to turn this into a real business and we're going to get there and we're going to set this travel market on fire. So 
I'll, I'll do 180 grand for 20%. How's that? I'll think about it. You don't rush. Do you know my background? Yeah, a little, yep. I worked seven years yeah. um, in this industry. So basically I've done Corsica, Sardinia, Portofino, did the Caribbean, um, you yeah. know, so. Start the name drop. But I sort of have that area that you haven't got. Um, I'm prepared to do a deal. I'll give you your 180K for 30%. 30%. I've got the branding, I know the market, I've lived it and breathed it. I've, you know, I know what the Med's like, I know the tourism industry. How would I expand with you to other destinations outside of the Mediterranean? Whatever you want to do, or however you want to achieve it, you set the plan, then you go off and chase it. I, I think that sounded like you want to know what she was going to, and how she was going to add value to your business. I don't think she answered. She has done nothing to convince. 30%. You, all right, you, you just, know what I just have write got her off. Write her off. What are you going to put a little add on your boost cup? Yeah, that's what that I'm going to do. That might work. I'm going to put an add on my boost cup. That's going to happen. Where he gets value is from and someone who has got to her, tenacity. Steve's offered you 20. Yeah. He is so rude. Like, if you, if you let people talk, he might actually hear what the offer is. But no, if you just want to keep blabbing, blab away, honey. Chris, what I see is you actually need infrastructure. You're the artist pulling it together, but what I think you need is really back office support. So I'm going to make you an offer too. So the offer is $180,000 for 33% of your business. Oh. You know, everything they're talking about, that's all out there available at commercial terms. Admin is basic, some bookkeeping. So what they're offering is, is not that great. <laughs> so you're, you're offering more, are you? He's full of shit. My experience is to find great people as founders yep. and then support them on their journey and not try and take it over and hijack it. So your offer is? Oh, 5% by the sounds of it. Yeah, I know. No, I'm, I'm happy to match Steve, 180K for 20%. Chris, well done. You've got four offers from four shows. Yeah. I think I'm going to bail out gracefully. Uh, I'm not right. sure I'm the right partner for you, but good luck to you. I'm out. Which one of these sharks do you think you could work with the most? Wow. I want to do this deal somehow. I'd have no problem with uh, uh, partnering with Janine on this deal as well. Yeah. I'll keep my offer at 20% and I'll go with the halves for her at 30%. Do you think two sharks can work together? I really don't think they can. I don't either. Our, our audience would notice a lot of bickering that goes at the far end of this. And that's what you don't want in a board meeting, for sure. You want a clear direction. What you'll get by having two sharks is you've got one, this is my passion, you know, the travel and experiences. And, you know, Steve, you know, if you want to actually reach the rest of the world, yeah. then Steve with his tech can do it. Well, we've got Steve on his own at 20%, Janine yeah. on her own at 30% yeah. together. 30%, uh, yeah. they'll take 15% each yeah. for your 180,000. We've got Naomi here at 33% and Glenn 180,000 at 20%. What are you going to do? Um, I just don't want to give away so much of my business. The 30% kind of scares me a little bit. Make him a counter-offer. Hey, can you just settle down for a second? Oh, I think Andrew, like, it's exactly what I need to go to. Like, I'm happy to take 10 and 10 to make it 20%. No, it's not enough. It's hard to care for 10. No? No. Chris, you've got two people over here. They're not chopped liver, though. Yeah. Chris, what is your gut feel telling you? Who do you think you can work with? Chris, I'll make it easy, mate. I'm out in about 10 seconds, so make your mind up. Either these parents at the other end are going to muck around and, and, and play around, yep. or you've got someone who's serious. I know the pieces of the puzzle that you need to put together to support you. So 10 seconds, I'm out. 10, 9, Do it in your head. 8, 7, Six, um, five, 
four, three, I, two, um, one. Chris, I'll make it easy, mate. I'm out in about 10 seconds, so make your mind up. Chris owns a tour company that specialises in sailing holidays along the Croatian coast. Four sharks are on board, but Glenn is threatening to jump. So 10 seconds, I'm out. 10, nine. Do it in your head. Eight, seven, six, um, five, four, three. Oh, sorry, Glenn. Two. I don't want to be pressured into making one, a big decision, so. Out. Exploding vet. <laughs> the countdown's done, the vet's exploded. We're all good, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. If you cannot be definite about what you need to do in life, I'm out. Yep. All right, fair enough. Thanks, Glenn. Chris, you are going to need to make a choice, Del. OK. Um... Can we split the, split the difference? In... Steve and Janine are asking for 25%. One quarter of your business for 180. So make a decision, come on. Yeah. Um, I... Um, don't walk out without a deal. Don't walk out without a deal. Yeah. I really want this to go to the next level. I really think that um, there's an opportunity here. And uh, I think I would like to take a deal. Take the deal! Ripper! Thanks, mate. Oh Thanks. my god, no worries. So fun. Oh, well done. Look at these two partners, they're amazing. Yeah. You just have to change the rage so I can go along in yeah. 48. All right, thank you so much. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Well, that's great. Yeah. Go for it, Chris. You got those sharks swimming. I did it. Wow. That's going to be great business. You're in the travel business. I did not expect four sharks to be fighting over my business when I started it all those years ago. OK, let's go. I've got certain things I really don't like investing in. And the businesses, I think, are pretty spurious, like when all the, the culinary Marxists come out and want me to eat vegan and that sort of crap. I am the founder of Up and Coming Functional Foods Company, Fermentanicals, which is short for Fermented Botanicals. This honestly looks like something you'd find in a hospital. It's very pleasant, actually. Thanks. What I love about Steve is you always know what he's thinking because Steve has his brain on loudspeaker. The Surf Meal Co. We make surfing food with a purpose. Mate, I tried it, um, didn't like it. The reality is that the fact that it is not full of sugar, Steve won't like it at all, so. The ketogenic approach swaps out carbs and uses fat for fuel. It is about eating pork belly, beef jerky. Did you hear that? Beef jerky, Steve. If it used to live, eat it. Yeah. <laughs> It tastes good. Thank you. I don't like the tastes. <laughs> Next into the tank is Crack, who's come up with a revolutionary fast food concept. I can do this business myself, but with a shark's help, we can take on the world. I hope you're hungry, sharks. Every day I turn on social media and I see that they've got some crazy new food trend coming out of London or Japan or LA. I want this to be the crazy new food trend that's coming out of Melbourne. Hello Sharks, my name is Craig Carrick. I'm here today to talk to you about my very new business, Donuts. I'm here seeking $100,000 for 20% of my company and product. A donut is a combination of a donut and a chicken nugget. Oh. Ah. <laughs> is it? Chicken nugget donut. Yes! Sir. Nothing sweet about it. <laughs> An all, all savoury product. It's 98% chicken. That chicken's got our unique and top secret spice mix that goes through it. Oh. It's got then a cornflake and panko crumb and three different sauces. A cheesy Dijon bechamel, a golden Japanese curry and mozzarella, a hot chilli, or you can have it just on its own. You've got 11 secret inclined. herbs and spices? Way more than 11. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not changing the world with this product. I'm giving something that's fun, it's easy to understand, people get it straight away. And I'm trying to do it as ethically as I can as well. All our chicken is free range and chemical and hormone free. I would invite you to try a donug, love a donug, and welcome any questions. So thank you, Craig. So thank that's $100,000 for 20%, so you're valuing your business at $500,000. That's correct. Great, let's try the product. Just stand back, Steve's gonna knock you out of the way. <laughs> 
you want to go first? Oh, then? yeah. Then, then now, this is it. In four years, this is the first time I've actually been serving my food first. Is this the happiest I've ever seen you? <laughs> it's fantastic. Who's doing the cooking? This is my lovely wife, Rachel. Oh, really? Rachel, hi. Good job. Thank you very much. Why, why is she doing the cooking? She's best at it. I've been a chef for 15 years, and he came up with a concept. I made it work to his taste. I also think it tastes different. Like, I wouldn't eat a chicken nugget, and I'd definitely eat that. And it is free range, so you're kind of midships of something naughty, but still being good for the planet. This is it? something different. It's made, it's made with care. It's, made, it's a chef's recipe. So you're the next Colonel Sanders. You even got the beard all ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you charge? $9 per donut. Nine bucks for one of these? Wow. I intend to move the price point up to $12 for a donut oh. with all the sauce. Seriously? Huge. I like you. You're mercenary. You're fantastic. Why, why, why donut? So I called it a donut, just kind of tongue in cheek, and I went on the social media sites and searched a hashtag for it, and there was nothing there. It's fun. People go, what is it? It's a donut and a nugget. It's a fun looking word. It's an unusual sounding word. Cost of goods. On nine dollars. So when we're making them ourselves, it's two dollars twenty. Wow. At manufacturing stage, it'll be four dollars per unit. Nice. So sales. Give me an event that you were at, and what did you sell in a day? I've only done two events so far. Two events. I sold a thousand donuts at nine dollars a go. Oh wow. It cost me six grand to set it up and get it running. Bloody good sales. So I've uh, I've turned over twenty-one. Well done. I've spent an extra four, and I'm sitting with eight in the tent at the moment after two events. Have you got a number of events lined up? I've just slotted in an event with one of Australia's largest shopping centres to be the, the feature food item. Massive food traffic, ma massive PR behind it, and I'll hopefully sell a thousand a day. That works out some good numbers for me. <laughs> so why do you need an investor? Because I want to take it to the next level. I want to go to the manufacturing stage. I've been working with a manufacturer so far, trying to get a prototype together. They're doing about 30 tonnes of manufacturing a day. Um, so they're, they're pretty well versed at this. What are you going to do with 100,000 bucks? 100,000 basically kickstarts the process. 50 grand gets me my first 10,000 donuts made. That's 40 grand for the manufacturer, 10 grand for the cold storage, logistics, boxes, warehousing. Um, 40 grand for a proper event setup, something that looks great and is enticing that I can roll out wherever I want. And the 10 grand is from insurances and, and branding and stuff in it, and amongst that. It's a very uncomplicated product, right? You mince up some chicken, throw some spice in, shape it. Throwing some spice in is a, is a bit of an understatement, you know? It's a, that's a bit of an insult to the chef, you know? It's insulting. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is unique as a jelly baby, you know? It's a piece of jelly shaped like a baby <laughs> that we eat. You know, people are looking for a, a full meal, and I think it is a whole meal, like it's quite substantial. In Melbourne, where I live, you can get out for less than 14 bucks for a burger nowadays in most places. I can see this really working overseas, and in the States and in London, Japan, Asia. I can see that being something. I'm sitting here asking myself, is it franchise? Is it partly frozen cooked at home? The execution risk is huge. There's a million moving parts to get this from being a nice brand to something that's a really big business. And I ask myself, am I the guy to work with you and get you there? And the answer is no. So I wish you well, but I'm out. Where I've moved to in my investing in, in food and food tech is really in the, the wellness space. If you'd come on with a, a vegan, paleo, organic, nut-free, sugar-free, savoury snack, I'd probably go with you. Best of luck, Craig, Rachel. I have no doubt you're going to have a lot of fun with this, but I'm out. Thank you for your time. Cheers. I've tried it. You know, I, I want this to work, believe me. I, I'm, I'm tired of all the health food rubbish that comes on this show, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to invest. I'm keen to see you somewhere in the future. Mm -hmm. I wish you all the best and, and thanks for coming in. But well, I, I thanks know. for your support. Thanks for your excitement at the start. <laughs>
Um, the events show that your sales are good. That shows the consumer wants it. So there's, there's a lot to like. I think you're onto something. But you haven't proven your tenacity. And being in the food industry, it's a grind, and it's that determination that you need to take to get it to the next level. Please come back next year, please, because I actually think you're onto something. But I'm out. Cheers. And then there was one. She's wearing my colours. Craig, I don't think you need to come back next year because I'm about to make you an offer. Ooh, here we go. So, um... But you're not going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> the offer I'm going to put to you is $100,000 for a quarter of your business. Oh, please. What are you going to do? Um... It's about getting donuts sold here at every sporting ground, every servo, every fish and chip shop. So I'd like to take that offer. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I didn't see that coming. I promise you, we have just surprised everybody here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right <laughs> outcome. All the best. Well done. The donut is going to join the hamburger in perpetuity. I surprised all of you. Actually, yeah. you did. <laughs> well you did. None of you saw that coming. Not it's what I expected. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, the, the mighty donut show right. I just know how hard it is to get innovation in that quick service space. For me, I just went, they just need longer. But hey, I might do a deal with you later. I just wanted to surprise you all. <laughs> Crazy. It's a product that can have an impact on 7.5 billion people. So we're so excited to present it. Hi Sharks, my name's Nicole Jones. And I'm Steve Jones. Today we are hoping to get you as excited about this amazing startup as we are. So we are here to present FluAway 48. FluAway 48 is a 100% all natural medication that has been clinically proven to eliminate the symptoms of the cold and flu within 48 hours or your money back. Wow. This product is backed. It has been clinically trialled on over 10,000 people with a success rate of over 98.9%. Within six months, we will be printed in the world-renowned Harvard Medical Journal. So we're exceptionally excited. Also, we have a worldwide distribution agreement for the product and all the following up byproducts. This is a product that we genuinely feel has the potential to positively impact every single human life on the planet and we'd love for you to be a part of it. Wow. It's not often that people come in here and say they're gonna cure the common I'm cold. cold. Today, Sharks, we're asking for $1.5 million for a 20% share in our product, Flew Away 48. So, that's a pretty big ask, 1.5 million? Yes. For 20%? Yes. Valuing the company at 7.5 million today. And obviously you've got a big hope for the future. Within three years, we think the company can turn over an annual revenue of $90 million with a net profit of 35%. What is the product? Because it smells kind of unusual. Can I have a look at the box, please? Thanks. Oh, it stinks. Ooh, it smells. Yeah, the product's 100% uh, natural ingredients. So there's garlic, uh, there's... Um, Echinacea? There's no echinacea in it. It is, is right? echinacea oh, and vitamin C. But echinacea and vitamin C. C, sorry. Olive leaf? No. No. I'm looking at the side, there's nothing about echinacea or vitamin C in this. Yeah, so it's all TGA approved and the latest approval has added echinacea and vitamin C. So the Therapeutic C. Goods so from, Association yes. has approved this product. What registration has it given it? Given it into, oh, the C-class. Yes. C-class so, being over the counter. Yeah may be hocus-pocus or may be somehow useful to you. Just some background, guys. Are you doctors, medical researchers, naturopaths? What are we? No, look, uh, we're, we're business people. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Um, we currently have been uh, working in the real estate industry over the last few years to actually try and fund this. So both of us have been working 80 to 100 hours a week to get this product to where it is. You know, I like the science behind something yes. like this. 10,000 people have tried this. Yes, Correct. from the ages of two. Up to 90. Up to 90. So where are the trials done? So they were originally done in East Perth. It was a Belgian-based company. That company has now migrated over east. There's not many places left in WA that continue to so do the, the clinical trial trials. So the trial was done on people felt a little bit coldy, fluey, and started taking this. Yes. And within 48 hours, they stopped having the symptoms. Correct. Correct. How do you think this works in the body? What's it doing to the immune system? Yep. What's it doing to the virus yep. particle? How does it work? So what this does is it boosts the immune system to new levels to be able to get over your, your common cold and flu very so quickly. So what part of the immune system are you playing with? Good question. It's a great question. I actually don't have that specific answer. From the perspective of, is it a whim, is it a hope, is it a prayer, we've had a professor from Harvard look at this product in detail. He's been involved for the I'm, last I four years. I am seriously looking forward to reading a, a research yeah, paper. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That's the path we're on. evidence, I'll roll over and say I'm wrong. Um, how much money have you guys put into this? We've put in close to $100,000. In terms of the manufacturer uh, himself, that's been close to $850,000. So you've put $100,000 in, and you want us to top that up with 1.5 million. Does that seem reasonable? Um, it, I, we think it seems very reasonable. This is a product that's going to require high economies of scale to start it. Yeah, so but, why, it, but, but, but it seems like we're, you're relying on us for the cash when you, you haven't really... You haven't invented it, let's face it, right? That's, yeah, I'm sort of just trying to get my head around. Like, how, how, you know? I mean, we've brought our expertise. We've... Expertise in real estate? No, no, expertise in sales, marketing, business. Yeah, yeah, but we've got sales, marketing and business too. Do you have sales? No, it hasn't been. Free so, so, so what's the point of your, ex of your expertise in sales and marketing if you haven't got actually sales? Before Flew Away, what were you doing? Have you been in other businesses? Yeah, yeah, been in other business. I had a, a quite a large uh, business in the building industry. That was up to 130 staff. What did you do with that business? We had some things that didn't uh, financially work out and it actually um, had to go into administration. Right. So what do you own in this? Are you the Australian distributor for this We're the worldwide, 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 worldwide distributor. distributor. We own the name as well. So, so why is the manufacturer, why is he outsourced this to you for the princely sum of 100,000 bucks? We have formed a, a JV between the two of us, shall we say, right. to no, provide no, no. Is it a JV or not? Because it's not... We have a distribution agreement. agreement. Right, so it's not so a, it's a JV. Okay. We have so a yeah. joint venture is when the manufacturer and you go into business, he owns 50-50, yep. that's a JV. Yep. Yeah. So legal, you're a distributor. Yeah, yeah. So yes, right. we are a distributor for the product. Do you know, what? Well, the thing that annoys me a little bit, right, other than the fact that you want us to fund the distribution agreement that you've got with them, is that you can say, you know, it's, oh, it's going to do $90 million in sales and the profit's this, but you haven't any proof. Give me some evidence of why $90 million worth of sales is even close to being a reality. We spent a lot of time talking to pharmacy buyers um, about... When a lot of time. I want more specifics. If you're, mm -hmm. if you're saying that you've got $90 million worth of sales yep. and you're coming here and saying you can do that yes. and mm -hmm. you want us to fund the $1.5 million of it, yes. mm -hmm. I kind of need more than... Oh, I've gone to see a few... Yeah, chemists. OK, there's 5,000 pharmacies in Australia. Of that, we've allowed for 20 to obtain 20% of those pharmacies being 1,000 in the first, based on discussions with buyers with introducing a new product. You're coming in with this big, fat number, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And you'll need to put in about $5 million worth of advertising to actually start to even get close to $90 million. For you to do some in-store marketing and go to see a few chemists, you're not convincing me. $500,000 worth of marketing has been allowed for in the first 12 months, 1.5 in the second year, and 2.5 in year three. Okay, so where are you going to market? Australia-wise or internationally-wise? No, 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 well, you're the business guru, mm. so yeah. where are you going to market? Well, I never said that, but... Oh, no, 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 you did. You said the reason you want 1.5 from us and yep. you're putting $100,000 in yep. is because of your business experience. Yes, that's right. So I'm going, if you're that great, tell yep. me your strategy so I can believe that $90 million is even close to being accurate. From an international point of view, we've, we're in discussions at the moment with Vietnam. I'm sorry? 
What's Vietnam got to do with it? That's Which terms of a pre-order? We've spoken with them regarding orders. And we're going orders. through uh, final approval in Vietnam at the moment. So, OK, you've said to the manufacturer, trust us, mm -hmm. we will launch this all over mm -hmm. the world. Correct. You've invested $100,000 in it. Are you prepared, if this deal doesn't come off the table today, to invest the $2 million that you will need? Uh, 100%, if, if, I can, if we need to see. If I can answer sorry. that. It's been 10 years in the making. It's been through the clinical trials. Every I is dotted, every T is crossed. And we could have launched years ago. Um, and obviously, with losing the business, we lost the cars, the house, everything. It was just Steve and I. And we literally had to put on the hard hat and safety boots and get back to work. And that's really what we've done. So you're telling me you lost your house, your car, your previous business? Everything, yeah. So this is really make or break for you now? Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Yeah. This business has to make it, doesn't it? Otherwise, yes, otherwise absolutely. Otherwise, you don't want to be going through what you went through last time again. No, right. no, absolutely yeah. not. Why on earth did you come today and ask for $1.5 million then? Why didn't you come in and ask for 200000 or 100000 yep. yep. 1.5 is cocky. Telling us $90 million in sales yep. Is yeah. cocky. I don't think it's cocky. To be honest with you, I think it's conservative. Oh. If I can explain to you why 100,000 or 200,000 will not work for this particular investment. It's not what you need, it's what it's worth. You're saying, I need this money, because you do. You mm -hmm. need that money to Absolutely. do it. Instead of going, I'll get 20% here, I'll get a 30% here, I'll do this. You've just come in yeah. and just... Look, so, look, I tell you what, it's probably no surprise you know where I am. I'm sorry your previous business hasn't worked, but you need to understand that you need to respect an investor. Yeah. And you need oh, to not just throw numbers out that, that yeah. aren't justifiable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, look, I, I honestly appreciate that. Yeah. And, and as we all know, most businesses, you value it on three I'm years' out. worth of sales yeah, and all that sure. sort of stuff. But this is an opportunity. Come on, come on. If you knew business like you say you do, and you valued us like you say you do, we do. you wouldn't have come in and asked 1.5. Mm. Yeah. You know, you've actually walked in here saying you can cure the common cold, right? Yep. So it's a pretty big one. You've put in 100 grand mm -hmm. and you've asked us for 1.5. Mm -hmm. The only offer I can make you is 93.75% of the company. Would you accept that sort of offer? No, we wouldn't. I'm out, thank you very okay. much. Yep. As Steve was trying to explain earlier, if we could come in here for one or 200,000, we would. If you keep talking at us, we can't really think and we won't sure. be able to kind of respond. I think you've made your pitch. Yeah. Um, Naomi, where are you at? Uh, whether the product works or doesn't work, time will tell. Today, you've not demonstrated that you're sales and marketing experts in this field. And for that reason, I'm out. Sure. It's fun in the tank, isn't it? It's good fun, yeah. <laughs> 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 Look, I would love to believe that this is going to take all the aches and pains away from cold and flu, and maybe you're right. The thing that worries me is just your business judgment. You're a little too desperate. I'm really sorry. Mm, I'm sure. out. No. OK. Thank you very much. Look, I, I'm really in, incredibly sceptical until I see a decent research paper with the science behind this. We were sceptical about it when we first got involved, and that's the I honest was. truth. But when you have $800,000 of clinical trials being carried out... And we had to see them physically and yep, do our due diligence you know, on which it is, to see who know, was doing that to make sure it was I hope that is real too, by the way. I really hope that's real, otherwise you've done your 100000 There are so many people flushing serious money down a toilet and I am concerned you're asking mm -hmm. me to hoodwink mm -hmm. the Australian public. The most that this is gonna do, super refined garlic will scare off a whole bunch of vampires and zombies and this shark, so I'm out. Okay, sure. Sure, no problem. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. We Good wish you well. Nicole. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, thanks Ta guys. Of 1.5 million and we've invested 100 grand. I'm not a bunny. 150 grand, 200 grand to take a piece and a find crack. out. You'd have a crack. But I, I mean, 1.5 million bucks, that's a bit of a pun. But it's mm. what they need, is yeah, what we exactly. value that.